to my channel. Today I have a little IKEA hack with a desk I'm after picking up. So basically I am updating, redecorating my like craft room slash office because it just wasn't inspiring me. <laughs> so I wanted to get a new desk because I needed a desk that I could cut fabric off and sew and then I would also double up as an office desk so that I could put my laptop on it and I could sit at it comfortably and I had enough like room for all my stuff. So I'm in the middle of like updating that room so today I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn a cheap old Ikea desk into something a little bit more glamorous. Just out in Ikea and I picked up, I'm going to try and pronounce the Ikea names but I can never pronounce them, the Linman table top 120 by 60 I think it is and I got the I'm not even going to try to pronounce the legs, but the legs were really cheap and I'm basically, the legs, like, I love the shape of them, but the colour is just not what I want. The colours in the room that I'm doing are, so I picked this lovely Laura Ashley wallpaper and it has, like, greens, pinks and a white background. So I wanted to put pops of gold into the room. So I'm basically going to spray paint the legs gold um, and it's lovely and sunny outside. Um, proof that sometimes the sun does shine in Ireland. Um, so I'm going to go out into the garden and I'm literally going to spray paint the legs gold. And it's so simple. I'm obsessed with just simply spray painting things. Um, you could also, I'm spray painting the legs gold, but you could also paint them like pink. You could use chalk paint. Um, but I just find um, using the spray paint so much handy. Um, so I'm going to go out into the garden and do that now. This is the tabletop and it's called Linmon. <laughs> Why does Ikea have such weird names? So you buy the bits separately and you can put loads of different legs with this. The ones I chose to go with are just kind of simple spindly ones. I'll show them to you now. These are the legs and they are called... <laughs> oh, you're not going to pronounce that. Lib something. I'll put it here. <laughs> so they are just like a metal, but I'll take them out of packaging. They're like a grey. So I'm gonna. These is what I'm gonna spray gold. So these are the legs. So you can see, like they're not a terrible colour, but I just want them really bright gold, and um, to kind of go with the theme of the room. Um, and I'm gonna find my receipt, but I think them legs were something ridiculously cheap, because for the tabletop and two legs was thirty one euro for the whole lot. Um, so thirty one euro for a desk is absolutely amazing and then I just paid for my spray paint and primer which I think was another 20 euro so for like 50 euro you're getting this like much fancier um, desk for your house. Don't forget to shake your can until you hear the little clicker um, and once you hear that little clicker give it a good shake and then you're good to spray paint. I've just put a dust sheet up outside and I always anytime I spray paint I do it outdoors and um, because you don't want to get any of that in the house and then it smells it doesn't smell terrible but um, do it outside and on a day like today I'll be doing it outside in the sun. my tea. My primer is fully dry. I've done the two sides and um, the good thing like I said about the primer is 20 minutes is touch dry so I was able to flip them over and spray them. So they are now ready for the fun part which is the gold and this is where I get really giddy because it's starting to all come together. As always like I said about the primer follow the instructions on the back of the tin. This will tell you what you can what surfaces it can be used on. I always recommend using it in line with the surface primer and um, tells you how to give it a nice even coat and literally nice thin strokes. It's better to do loads of thin coats than to do one big coat where it drips and it goes gloopy on you. Um, the coverage is really good. I did buy two cans but I don't think I'm going to need two cans just as a backup but that means I have loads of gold uh, spray paint so I can spray some accessories for the room when I'm decorating it.
all of my bars of gold. Um, if you are doing this yourself, I used one can of gold spray paint. I did buy two, but I didn't need it, but that's grand because I have a, a little can spare to paint something else. Um, a little tip, this is important. As tempted as you are to assemble your legs back together, don't. Wait for it to fully dry, and by fully dry, I mean a good couple of hours. If you can, assemble them the next day, because if you put them together, and because they're Ikea, you have your screws and stuff, it's a little fiddly. Um, if you scratch off, the paint will lift um, if you do it too early when it's not fully dry. So although it's touch dry, it might not be fully dry, if that makes sense. So I am going to leave my gold bars to dry, and then this evening I'm going to assemble them um, and put them together, and then I'll show you the finished table. I'm really excited. This was so easy. It literally took me like two hours to do. Um, two hours, I mean like... I spent most of my time waiting for them to dry. So I had like cups of tea in between. So really simple afternoon um, DIY to do. Here is the color of my gold bar. It's so nice. Now this is the bright gold can um, and it has that kind of sheen to it. I am absolutely delighted. I gave one coat as well. Um, I went over the edges with two, um, just where I was putting in like any screws and stuff. But coverage is amazing once you use the primer, so I'm absolutely delighted with the colour. Um, so I am going to put it into the craft room now. I'm just waiting on it's just being wallpapered as we speak and then once all the wallpaper is dry I'm going to bring in my desk and I'm going to show you it in its new home but I am thrilled with it. So happy. So as you can see behind me my wallpaper is finally up so I brought my desk in from um, outside and I have set up my desk and I'm going to show you what it looks like in its new home and I got a little matching lamp Got a few little trinkets and I'm delighted with how it turned out. video please give me a cheeky little thumbs up if you did don't forget to tag me in your upcycle pics over on instagram i love seeing what you guys are getting up to i'm so nosy um and i'll share my favorite on my insta stories as well thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos bye